Hello again everybody, Cody here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip. And today we're going to talk about incorporating plastics into your designs. Here at Protocase, we stock acrylic, acetyl, and UHMW polyethylene from which parts and enclosure components can be machined in two to three days. So today I want to talk to you about the different types of plastics and the ways that you can incorporate them into your designs. So let's start with acrylic. So acrylic is commonly used for its transparency, although sometimes it is also used for other reasons such as electrical insulation or RF transparency. So Protocase stocks acrylic in sheet form up to 6 mm thickness. This type of material is generally milled on our CNC machines or our router machines and features like countersinks, counterbores and other types of milled features can be applied. Acrylic is most often used to create viewing windows and enclosures or to achieve certain aesthetics. For example, one of YouTube's most popular technology reviewers, Linus Sebastian, wanted a window in his custom PC enclosure, so he used an optically clear cast acrylic sheet to achieve this look. So another cool example where we used acrylic is with one of our Australian customers. He developed a PC that had acrylic windows on the left and right side so you could view all the internal components. His panels also included small custom ventilation cutouts which were milled into the window to assist with the cooling of the case. Panels were then screwed onto the PC enclosure. Check out the link below to see that article. So next up we have acetyl. Acetyl is often used to make clamps for cables and bus bars, fiber optic trays or panels. It also has a very low friction surface, which is ideal for this SSD bank I have in front of me. This allows you to slide the components in and out very easily. Acetyl really is your material of choice when designing a part that does not require transparency. It has great dimensional stability, which makes it perfect for close tolerance machine parts, and because of its low friction, a lot of our customers will specify acetyl for enclosure components that slide on each other. We stock acetyl in sheet form up to 19.05 millimeters in thickness. Like acrylic, acetyl is generally milled on our CNC machines or routers, allowing you to add features like countersinks, counterbores, and pockets. Last but not least, let's talk about UHMW, or what us fancy people like to call ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. UHMW polyethylene is a versatile thermoplastic that can be used in a wide variety of applications. It has a high impact strength as well as good wear and corrosion resistance. UHMW is an extremely tough plastic with low moisture absorption and steam permeability. UHMW has a low friction surface and good electrical properties. It is widely used in a variety of applications in industrial machinery, such as conveyors, due to its durability. UHMW is not damaged as easily as other plastics and can hold up to heavy use. Protocase can machine UHMW polyethylene to create a variety of parts and components, such as mounting blocks, bearings, guide rails, sprockets, and stair wheels. If you require any type of permanent marking on your parts, all of these options will allow you to do so. We can also apply silkscreen graphics over these, leaving a very attractive result. And of course, you can always incorporate 3D printed parts into your enclosures. We will dig more into this topic on an upcoming Prototech Tip. Well that's it folks, thanks for tuning in to this week's Tech Tip. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And be sure to tune in next week for another video.